OpenAI's new Reasoning AI appears to be on the way. Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief. At the very end of last week, we got news that OpenAI was working on a new, more advanced type of AI that they have codenamed Strawberry. And in fact, this is not the first time we've heard about this project. However, it is the first time that it's had this name. So what we're going to do today is give not only this new report about what OpenAI is working on, but go back a little bit to the history of this particular project. And for that, we actually have to go back to the days and weeks that followed the ouster and then rehiring of CEO Sam Altman last November. About a week after Altman was reinstated, the information published a piece called OpenAI Made an AI Breakthrough Before Altman Firing, Stoking Excitement and Concern. You might remember that during that whole time, as everyone was trying to figure out just why Altman had been fired, probably the most popular working theory was that they had made some big technical advance and that there was internal disagreement around whether they should be pushing it forward. This was, of course, despite the fact that the board was explicit about the idea that that wasn't the case. However, that didn't stop this report from getting tons of traction. Wrote the information on November 22nd of last year. One day before he was fired by OpenAI's board last week, Sam Altman alluded to a recent technical advance the company had made that allowed it to push the veil of ignorance back and the frontier of discovery forward. The cryptic remarks at the Apex CEO summit went largely unnoticed as the company descended into turmoil. But some OpenAI employees believe Altman's comments referred to an innovation by the company's researchers earlier this year that would allow them to develop far more powerful AI models. The technical breakthrough spearheaded by OpenAI chief scientist Ilya Sutskever raised concerns among some staff that the company didn't have proper safeguards in place to commercialize such advanced AI models. The information we got was that the model was called QSTAR. The big thing that it was able to do that previous models hadn't was that it could solve basic math problems. The information said that in the months following the breakthrough, Ilya himself appeared to have reservations. Another data point from that article, Ilya's breakthrough allowed OpenAI to overcome limitations on obtaining enough high-quality data to train new models, according to the person with knowledge. The research involved using computer-generated rather than real-world data. Reuters followed up and found their own sources, confirming the story. They added the detail that, quote, Though only performing math on the level of grade school students, acing such tests made researchers very optimistic about QSTAR's future success. Reuters also dug up a letter that was sent to the board from a number of staff researchers, warning it seems about the discovery. Wrote Reuters, unlike a calculator that can solve a limited number of operations, advanced general intelligence can generalize, learn, and comprehend. In their letter to the board, researchers flagged AI's prowess and potential danger, although Reuters' source couldn't confirm exactly that it was QSTAR that they were worried about. Separately, however, The Verge reported that the board never received a letter about QSTAR and that, quote, the company's research progress didn't play a role in Altman's sudden firing. Of course, lots of people wanted to know more. One of the most viewed discussions on the OpenAI forums last November was what is QSTAR and when will we learn more? No one really had information on that thread. Many people were talking about it in the context of what it might have meant for the firing. But then there were also a lot of responses represented by this one from Quirtle, which said, As someone who's done a fair amount of ML slash AI research, I can tell you that it is very, very easy to think you've discovered a breakthrough. There's a great deal of cognitive bias in AI, and you have to falsify very aggressively. I am deeply skeptical. It's also worth noting in the news today that we found out that the $86 billion share sale is back on. I'm sure this quote-unquote breakthrough will get investors quite interested. So obviously they are calling into question the veracity of the claims, and saying that perhaps it was being overstated for the sake of an investment. In December, Timothy B. Lee wrote a post on understandingai.org called The Real Research Behind the Wild Rumors About OpenAI's QSTAR Project. The piece departs from just trying to suss out the details of this supposed QSTAR breakthrough, and instead goes through OpenAI's two other published papers about its effort to solve grade school math problems, as well as some other research from outside of OpenAI on this similar area. One thing he pointed to was a tweet from chief AI scientist at Meta, Jan LeCun, who wrote, Please ignore the deluge of complete nonsense about QSTAR. One of the main challenges to improve LLM reliability is to replace autoregressive token prediction with planning. Pretty much every top lab, FAIR, DeepMind, OpenAI, etc. is working on that, and some have already published ideas and results. It is likely that QSTAR is OpenAI's attempt at planning. Now, earlier this year, Nimrod Kramer over at Daily.dev published a piece called OpenAI Q, Everything You Need to Know in One Place. He adds to the discussion the point that, in addition to solving basic math, QSTAR, quote, showcases reasoning abilities beyond current AI models. From what we've heard, he writes, Project QSTAR can work out basic math problems and think symbolically better than other AI systems out there, understand ideas and make smart guesses about them, move past just recognizing patterns to actually think through problems step by step. He speculates a little bit about how it might work. He points to step-by-step reasoning, where he says, instead of just spitting out answers, Project QSTAR could explain how it got there by breaking the problem into smaller, easier parts, 
figuring out each part one by one, making sure each part helps solve the big problem. He also contended that, quote, Project Q-Star probably uses self-supervised learning. It's a bit like how the game AlphaGo gets better at playing against itself. The AI practices by solving problems against older versions of itself. This provides a way for the AI to learn and get better without needing people to check its work. Just like AlphaGo, the AI teaches itself, removing the need for outside help. Still, mostly, after that initial burst of interest, we haven't gotten much information. Six months ago on the OpenAI Reddit, poster EchoStorm wrote, Just wondering what happened to QSTAR. I read that it was able to solve mathematical problems faster and better than humans ever could, as well as bypass any encryption and improve itself. If that's true, why is nobody talking about it? Was it false news? If so, why was the leak in the board's reaction so believable? Personally, it doesn't seem to me to be a good publicity stunt for a successful company like OpenAI to do this unless something about QSTAR is true. And that gets us to last week, when we had two big stories that followed along these lines. The first was that OpenAI had internally shared definitions for five levels of AGI, or at least five levels of AI on the path to AGI. The levels were one, chatbots, AI with conversational language, that's where we are now. Second, reasoners, human-level problem-solving, something that OpenAI argued that they were close to in this internal meeting. Three, agents, systems that can take actions. Four, innovators, AI that can aid in invention. Five, organizations, AI that can do the work of an organization. Now, if you go check out the YouTube comments on any of my recent videos about this, there is tons of debate around those specific definitions. But the relevant point for us today is that these came out early last week. However, separately but clearly relatedly, we got this Reuters report, OpenAI working on a new reasoning technology under codename Strawberry. This came from internal sources as well as internal documentation. The document was seen by Reuters in May, but not reported until now. Reuters also said they couldn't ascertain the precise date of the document. The document, quote, details a plan for how OpenAI intends to use Strawberry to perform research. Reuters source also added that how Strawberry works is a tightly kept secret even within OpenAI. Basically, this document describes a project that would use the Strawberry model with the aim of allowing the AI to plan ahead enough to navigate the internet autonomously to perform what OpenAI calls deep research. According to this report, Strawberry is the new name for QSTAR. According to Bloomberg, last Tuesday at an all-hands meeting, OpenAI, quote, showed a demo of a research project that it claimed had new human-like reasoning skills. This was the same meeting, I believe, where they introduced that five-level classification system. While the information remained sparse, there were a few other things we got from this report. Reuters writes, Strawberry includes a specialized way of what is known as post-training OpenAI's generative AI models, or adapting the base models to hone their performance in specific ways after they have already been trained on reams of generalized data. Strawberry has similarities to a method developed at Stanford in 2022 called Self-Taught Reasoner, or STAR. STAR enables AI models to bootstrap themselves into higher intelligence levels via iteratively crafting their own training data, and in theory could be used to get language models to transcend human-level intelligence. Continuing, Reuters writes, Among the capabilities OpenAI is aiming Strawberry at is performing long-horizon tasks, referring to complex tasks that require a model to plan ahead and perform a series of actions over an extended period of time. OpenAI specifically wants its models to use these capabilities to conduct research by browsing the web autonomously with the assistance of a CUA, or computer using agent, that can take actions based on its findings. OpenAI also plans to test its capabilities on doing the work of software and machine learning engineers. So basically what we've got here is an update that confirms that QSTAR has not gone away, it's evolved into whatever the strawberry is, that two, the context that they're thinking about deploying it in, or at least researching it in, is this deep research context. Three, that it's clearly a part of their plans to get to agentic AI. And four, that it's close enough that they're talking about it widely within the company, even though you would have to think that they would assume, or at least not be surprised, that some amount of this information would get out. So far, there is not that much information out there beyond what I've just shared with you. And there's not even all that much chatter. People are very clearly interested, but without more details, we're just going to have to wait and see what evolves. However, it seems likely that OpenAI's comparative quietness in this period might be coming to an end. For now, though, that is going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief. Until next time, peace.